please. So my question is uh, in Surah 41, verse 8, it uh, says, uh, or it mentioned payment of zakat by idolatrous. Why it specifically mention zakat? By generally, they, they are mentioned like... The verse. Yes. There are two verses related with her question. They are verse number 7 and 8 from Surah Hamim Sajda, which is chapter number 41. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل إنما أنا بشر مثلكم يوحى إلي أنما إلهكم إله واحد فاستقيموا إله واستغفروه وويل للمشركين الذين لا يؤتون الزكاة فهم بالآخرة هم كافرون The translation is say I am only a man like you it is revealed to me that your God is one God so go ye straight to him without deviating and ask forgiveness of him and woe to the idolaters who give not the zakat and they it is who deny the hereafter question why specifically underline zakat why they are mushikin they they don't believe in god almighty they don't believe in anything why i don't understand i I can answer that very easily. The point is that zakat is expenditure in the way of Allah. It is not only a regular zakat, which is mentioned in hadith, etc. But zakat has another meaning of something which causes to grow things. So as such, all expenditure in the way of Allah is called zakat. So although they do not believe in Allah, so and the ordinary meaning of zakat doesn't apply to them, but whatever they give to the poor, sometimes they do, it doesn't grow. It is called zakat but without its true meaning of giving blessing to their spending. So many non-believers, idolaters, etc. I know, who spend apparently in the cause of Allah to distribute to the poor. But because they do not believe, so the expenditure goes waste. You understand? So they are mushrikeen as well, who do the same thing. Not Allah, but without ever having thinking of God, they spend in the cause of the poor. So many non-believers as well do they do the same thing. But that zakat is not the same zakat which is mentioned in the Quran in the other sense, and which Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has explained and has given you the exact shara of the zakat, which should be paid by that much and that much. So, you are quite right, the word zakat should not be applicable ordinarily to the non-believers and the mushrikeen. Because why should they give zakat? But there are mushrikeen who are soft-hearted people, who spend in the cause of the poor. And if they do it genuinely, it is a, a good cause, but it's wasted. It would not grow like the zakat has the meaning of growing its result. I'll explain this uh, another bit afterwards, after this translation. Now, then it reminds me, your question reminds me of a hadith. One person who was a mushrik was very kind hearted. He even fed the birds used to throw meat, pieces of meat to the birds and uh, while he was a mushrik so once he inquired from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that will that spending in the, on my part would uh, be similar to zakat? Will I be, that is to say, will I be rewarded by Allah? While I did it just out of my kind, kind heartedness. So Rasulullah inquired from him, have you not been rewarded? You have become a Muslim. 
that is the reward of your spending the, in the cause of human, uh, not only human beings but in the cause of animals, the life uh, possessing things. So there is an indication that such people, if they do it genuinely and honestly, and the message of Islam has not reached them properly, I mean, then if they continue to spend in the cause of the poor, and the message of Islam reaches them properly, they were the people who would accept Islam, and that will be the reward of their zikat in that way. Right?